<clears throat> hey, oh shit. Oh. Hey, y'all. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> I um just got done doing some cameos and a couple of interviews that ended up falling in at one little time. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jeff. It's getting on my nerves because it's so new until I got a little flyaways. So I just came on here to uh, smoke a blunt with y'all for a moment. Okay, you see me? Okay. Please see me. <laughs> Please see me while I got on all this shit. Please see the gym. Who child more out? I have been in this shit. I think I've been in drag for about six hours. I changed hair three times uh, and outfits. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, I'm, well, I can't say I made it. What I did do was um, it had, uh, I bought the wig and I added hair to it. But it's so new until it got flyaways. Uh, this outfit is from, I got it from the store. Look at my skin cone. That's two different colors. Um, what happened? Okay, Von 007, that part. Mm. I need to go put my door on so I can make this video real quick while I'm getting my gel. Uh oh, it stopped. I didn't see all that. How much shipping is it? Um, if you are in the U.S., uh, shipping is, the, the price is $10 with shipping included. But if you're not in the U.S., I can't uh, send anything over, over, you know, overboard. So, yeah, if you um, want a mask and you're in the U.S., it's shipping is part of the package. Well, the ten dollars. But if you out of the country, state, whatever, I can't do that. Out of the country, I can't do that. Cause that's thirty seven dollars to send something just over. But you could go to Mother Merch, Merch, Mother Merch, Merch Mother, Mother Merch. Go to them, and they have a whole bunch of stuff over there, uh, merch for me as well. So you won't be without. I promise you. Just a this shit, but you got the shit over there, Jim. So what you got, well, everybody could get it. But I can't say nothing out overseas right now, Jim. But what I am going to do is ask him if I could send him a big box of the mask and stuff, because I have more coming. Um, and if I could send them to him and he could sell them over there, then I would do that. But if you can't, I, I mean, honey, I'm sorry. Oh, cute. Well, yeah, you can get yours. Thank you all for who have been purchasing the masks. They have been popping up the chain. Uh, and that's another thing. I, I got to get out of this to go um, place some more orders because every one that I had pretty much is gone. So I'm going to try to get it together. I really want to do um, perform for y'all today, but I can't. It is too much going on this Tuesday. So much to happen between this morning and now. And I have to, I have to go get the shit. But I know you don't care too much, but I still care. Baby. I'm glad my wig didn't fall off because it's not on. Uh, you know what? Yeah, you can pay for a smoke session, Jill. How you want to do it? But, uh, you know, we're not sharing no blunts. We can't share no blunts. We can't do any of that. I love you too, Jeff. I'm about to get out this shit, though. I'm tired. 
my damn face hurt from smelling. Um, I've been cheesing from ear to ear laughing. I'm four out. Video chat, smoke, yeah, that's all right. I'll do that. Be a personal. I was going to do the Zoom thing, but I just felt like I was going to do something, but then I was trying to think, you know. But I may put it together. A lot of people, I really do help a lot of people with some ideas. I swear I do. They ask me something, I swear I, act, I try to help them. I really do. I try to give them good advice. Well, try this, try this, try that. But some of that advice I'm keeping to my damn self. Because sometimes when I tell people stuff, I be like, oh, they should do this like within the next week or so to get it popping. And then they don't do it. And then if I pop up and do it, they want to say, well, it was me. Well, for me, it's not me. That's Jeff. Because I'm going to do what I got to do, whore. Thank you, Jeff. I'm surprised it looked like anything. I've been in this shit so long. I just want this shit off me. Um, I was watching five. I haven't watched it since I think Mayhem went home. Cause she often well yeah, I haven't watched it since Mayhem went home. Your cigarette. Ran to your closet and pulled out a joint. Okay. Exactly. You know if you come on here on my live, you know I'm smoking. Thank you, Jill. I feel amazing. Thank you, thank you. Even though I had this shit on all day. I love seeing the smoke go out my window. I heard it was a lot of drama, but I don't care. That shit don't even matter to me, Jill. It's always something. Um, thank you, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. But just keep watching and, you know, make sure you don't, um, send the girls hate and shit. Because y'all already got RuPaul dropping her shit off. She don't want to be bothered. She just said two tears in the black and motherfucker. Y'all tore her ass up. You can't find what website, Jeff? It's on uh, Instagram. I love you too, yeah. I don't. I, I just don't want to argue with nobody, really, over nothing. But I am gonna go to let this man know about uh, coming for Miss Labelle. We not gonna have that, baby. The world's already. At, don't even go there. So I do have to put on my Dora. I'll put on my Dora for that. And I that'd be what I do before I get off here. Let's make that very clear what we won't be doing. <sighs> Even some smoke with you is bomb. Oh, thank you, Jay. I'm glad I look bomb. What do you think the theory is about the deletion? What deletion? Oh, I don't know. I don't know nothing about the show, so you can't ask me nothing. I don't know. I don't know who lied. I don't really care. Um, I haven't even seen it. Um, so I don't even know. So you asking me questions, child? <laughs> don't waste your time up here. You know I'm gonna smoke it. Shit. I know you don't care too much, but I still care. Yeah, I could watch it after my after my sisters went home. Shit, but I, I didn't watch it since man went home. Oh, no, I'm lying. I did see Mariah go home. I did see that one. And that was the last one I watched. Shit. But y'all got it. I don't even care who, who lying. I don't, baby. Oh, 
All right, from Australia, Jill. We got merch over there. I try to keep it together. I'm dealing with this Rona boo the best way I can. You know, trying to stay safe. Um, not being around people, just taking it one day at a time. Um, thankful that I don't have needs and wants and things could be worse, but they're not, so I'm not tripping. It's been all right. You know, it really makes a whole thing like um, I never took nothing for granted. Uh, oh, I don't care about her account being, uh, baby, I don't give a shit about nothing about Drag Race, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't. I didn't follow Rue. I don't even think Rue followed me. I don't, I don't know shit. I don't even give a fuck. That's grown. That's a grown ass man. Honestly, that's a grown-ass man. Whether he putting on drag or not, that's a grown-ass man. I don't give a damn what they do to their shit. I really don't give a fuck who argue back and forth. I really don't be giving a shit about none of that. You know, all I think I can say is if y'all was tearing her ass up, they, her and, you know, the producers and all of them know what we was going through. See, it's different when you're not going through it. But when you start going through shit, then... It's, you understand. So if she haven't been going through anything, and if y'all was attacked, when I say y'all not y'all, but people was going towards her, and she looking at the media like everybody do, and she see all this, that, that's a lot for anybody. So if you never been through it, you know. Maybe this is this, maybe this is what they needed to change a lot of things because you know karma. Came knocking on somebody's door. And sometimes when you're just the, the face of stuff. And there's people behind you. You got to be the one to take all the blame. Because you're the one in the front line. See, ain't nobody calling or going after the other people saying, well, why y'all not doing this? Why y'all not doing that? But to each his own. You know, everybody got to go through something. Everybody going to. Learn something from it. So, um, whatever the case was, you know, I, I wish him, I wish him peace and, you know, well, cause shit. Thank you, Jeff. I'm good today, Jeff. I did a lot of stuff today. I did a lot of stuff today. I talk to people I didn't even know was in the world. No, I'm not giving no Beyonce today, Jeff. Okay? But I had this shit on all day and I'm tired. Well, not this, but this this makeup. Thank you. You know, I love a good bodysuit. You know, I love something real tight and fitted. I look 30, okay. Not bad for 43, huh? Yeah, good stuff, good vibes. We got a lot going on. But, you know, I, I say this. It's different for, like, I just, I never really been into drag queen shit. You know, I, I just don't. And I know it's on, it's on TV, and that's what, you know, it's popping. So they got their life, their business exposed. But I really don't be watching it like that. I never really have been a big fan of the show. So I just, you know... I like when you guys tell me stuff, because I don't have time to uh, watch everything. What am I smoking marijuana? Why do I have this black thing here? It's because um, I have no hips or nothing on, and I don't need anybody seeing me in a boy body. That is that's, is not my brand. So I got this covered up in case I had to step up. You know, I can get up. Y'all won't see no tea. But yeah. Hey, Jen. You know what? These are um, uncomfortable, too, at first. And they I got these from downtown. I don't know which ones these are. Um, I don't know what they are. But they were uncomfortable. I just, 
you know, just make sure you wipe it real good on both sides. And sometimes, it, I, well, these, like the, the little, it already shaped how it's supposed to go. So you know the shape is supposed to be there, which they, you know. Sometimes you got to flip the contact inside out because it may be the wrong way in. <clears throat> but these are not fresh looks. These are not fresh looks. These are something in a red little box or something. Uh, what's been entertaining me? A lot of documentaries. I've been watching a lot of documentaries. I've been watching um, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I really had like a lot of fun being on here chit chatting with y'all. I'm not on uh, YouTube neither. So yeah, I like all that. That gives me, you know, I guess my jet. What's my favorite song right now? I don't think I have one right now. I really haven't been listening to. After something like being released and I listen to it like maybe once or twice, I haven't been back to like play it over and over because I don't really drive as much. And when I do drive, I'm doing something else. But a lot of times me going back and forth to the shows, that's when I would play a lot of the new music. But I haven't played anything new. If it comes out, I bop to it for a moment. And then I, I mean, you know. I guess my just is when I get it in, but I don't want to be bopping to no new music and if I can't go to the club and drop it like it's hot. And so, to listen to one artist for the Patty LaBelle. I don't want to listen to nobody else. <laughs> I'll listen to her for the rest. I don't want to be a part of that. Oh, sorry. So a notification had came up. Somebody asked me that I want to be a part of something. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's messy boots. And I'm not being a part of that messy mess. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with me. I don't even know. I, mm -mm. Thank you, Jen. Okay, I could get you off here. Because I'm not really into all that type of stuff, Jim. <laughs> Honey, I don't. I, mm -mm, y'all don't. Uh, uh, uh. If it, ain't, it has nothing to do with me, so why do I need to involve myself in something that. No. It was, I just, honey, <laughs> oh, people, why me? Just leave me alone with the bullshit. It don't have, why well, would keep trying to touch this damn thing? These people are crazy. And you know, um, it'd be more crazy when it's people who you really don't deal with or who you, like, in passing. But every time it's some type of drama, they always reach out. Now, what they be reaching for is somebody to be a captain save a hoe for that ass. And I can't. I got one hoe to save, and that's mine. That's why I use baby wipes. So, um. Yeah. Oh, I am going to watch it. Um, I don't know when, but I'm going to watch it, though. I just say I haven't had time to really get my jit the last two days. But I need to watch it probably next week. I got a lot going on. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to my friend's um, funeral. Or am I just going to go view his body? And I don't know which one I feel like. And I kind of feel like, go view his body tomorrow. Get it over with. Don't wait any longer. Just get it over with so you can start healing early. But I got to get it together that, um, you know, I got to really let it soak in on me. Because, whew, child, my nerves too bad to be playing. 
Thank you, love. So, yeah, I have to really think about, you know, all of that. What I'm going to do for tomorrow and between tomorrow and Thursday. Because I can't, I don't want to do both. I need to go to one. Thank you, Jim. He been like sick for a long time. He been going to like the dialysis and stuff. And he was like, I think 80. He was well in his 80s. But yeah. Woo! <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was a little hot, little rony. And um, his ass <laughs> used to all right, Jasmine, he looking at you. I'm not talking to that man. Go say hi to him. No, I'm not. Honey, I'm in drag. That don't turn me on. He used to always... Uh-huh. Him and a couple of people used to... It was friendly uh, about, you know, the like their performance going to come and who's going to turn it out and who's going to do this and who do that. So him and a couple of... A few other guys in this organization that we was a part of, the Imperial Court System. They always had, you know, our queen gonna do this, our queen gonna do that, who gonna do what? But he had Jush. And they knew whenever I was coming through, I was gonna, I was gonna wreck the building. One year, I forgot what happened, but him and somebody got into it, and he said, I need you here. And I need you to wear this place out. And I said, what's the theme? He said, disco. I'm like, oh, I know the perfect song to do. I had a small little mix, Down the Summer Last Dance, into um, Loving Is Really My Game. And, I, and well, somebody was doing Loving Is Really My Game. Cut them right on out. They ain't doing it after that. Baby, please, I had cartwheel from one end of the room all the way to the other side of the room. I had wore their asses out. Bitch, clean that money up for me, Jeff. This ain't no benefit show. I want all my money. Because he had told me to come fuck it up. <laughs> sure did. I had cartwheel from one side of the room to the other side. It was a long, it was in a hotel. <coughs> Excuse me, two of them um, rooms, they had it, they took one divider down so it was real long. The stage was huge. And bitch, I went up there. <laughs> Dizzy as fuck. I kept saying, two more, two more, two more. Before I knew it, I was getting close to that wall. I said, bitch, you better stop. But I shut it down because he needed me to. Oh, I got you. No problem. That girl was like, I don't have nothing to do. She just did my song. And she was like, I don't want to do it. I know you don't. Sorry, Jim. Not to be tooting my horn, but I know sometimes I fucks it up. You know, you got to feel that about yourself. You fucks it up. You know, because you enjoy yourself. That's why it's not that I'm better than anybody. Because I don't think that. I just fucks it up because I enjoy myself. It's a different. You know, because I don't think I'm better than anybody performing. I just know that I go out there and I have fun with what I do. And I fucks it up for myself, you know. But I'm going to miss him, though. I only have good memories with him, though. We never had, like, disagreements or nothing like that. You know, he was older. I always had respect for him and stuff. You know, like my older uncle, you know. He was a slut. Don't get it twisted. The older we get, let me tell y'all something. The older we get, the game doesn't change. You know why? Because we got the young ones going after the old ones. 25. I'm talking young. But hell, some of the 18-year-olds too go for something a little older. So when you get older, the game don't stop. You just look good when you're older. And they still going to want you. They still gonna want you. Some people say, oh, nobody my age want me. 
Baby, your age may not want you, but two years, four or five years down with you. Bitch, dye your hair if you mad or gray. Shit. But get your ass out there, whore. Is what I feel. Nah, he not gonna haunt me. He not. He wouldn't do that to me, Jay. He used to call me a lot, though. We used to talk about a lot of old things, like back in the day, like when we used to travel on the Amtrak, getting drinks, you know. One of the uh, servers, uh, we knew from the club, they was giving us drinks and shit, free food. Mm-hmm. But it was always some teas, though, because when you catch the Amtrak from L.A., to Sacramento, you got to go through that prison. And whatever prison is up there, I can't think. It stops. And the people that get out of prison, they just get right there and hop on the Amtrak. I can't tell you how many times it's been people getting out of prison just getting on the train. Going north. Oh, my nerves is bad. But, yep, yeah, so. That's what it was. <sighs> so, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. <clears throat> don't want to go view it. Because, I mean, even if the service, I'm not going to be around nobody. Uh-uh. Back that ass up. Bitch, I could cry over here by myself, personally. But I don't need your ass all around me. Nobody around me that know. Uh-uh. I don't, I don't even see y'all on Facebook. Prison trade, May May. Bitch, yeah, it girl, so many stories I could tell you off of here, May. Not, nothing that I did, but just, well, I don't give a fuck, shit. That was years ago. Baby, them men knew. When they looked, when they finally got the tea at us, who was all at the table, they knew we was... Honey, going to the bathroom. They try to follow you to the bathroom and shit. One guy was like, let me come in with you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Always. Uh-uh. I was terrified. And then the, a couple of lesbians just to hit on my auntie. And she just be like, <laughs> we had a good time and Big Red used to be a um, she was the head chef on uh, Amtrak and whenever they had like famous people I think are really like the, the VIP she would always really take care of that part but she was um she was uh, a head chef there. Lady Red Couture from Hey Queen. Hey Queen! She was that. I got fucked up on them Amtrak stuff. It's a long ass eight some hours. I think every stop I had a drink. By the time we got there, honey, y'all could have put me in a trunk and just let me perform right there. I wouldn't know no difference. But I always have time to sober up, though. Please take me to Taco Bell. And I will fuck up Taco Bell right down the street from the club. Smoke some weed. Take a good-ass shower. Lay down. And then it was time for us to perform. A gay train. Baby, that gay... I have a, a habit of hitting the button, the scroll thing for YouTube. And I'm not even on YouTube. It just propped up there. Thank you, Jiggy. You now, we'll stand up so you can get my jib. But it's a, it's a jumpsuit, you know, bodysuit, you know, yes, pose for the children. That's how they like it. But uh, <clears throat> you going on the train this weekend. Girl, I'm telling you, ma'am, they always get out of jail up there. I don't know what jail is up north or what prison. Bitch, they get on. It be like, bitch, they get on that motherfucker faithfully. Every time I've been going up or going down. They always, because they send them on that train because it's right there by the prison. So they get a ticket to go home. Where you from, San Diego? They got a ticket, go right home. 
they be in their uniform. The um, the ticket person already know, you know, cause by looking at their uniforms and they got the, they already, it's, 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 it's normal. It's normal. They get, that's, that's, that's their spot. The prison, you look outside, bitch, you see the prison. When we were driving by, we could see them out there lifting weights, playing basketball, doing a hokey pokey. They was doing it all. We could see it. You see the big ass uh, bus, prison bus, and a couple of uh, police cars. And I guess that's where they drop them off at in their little bus. Yeah. They do it. There was, you could see it. Bitch, it was big too. Ooh, uh uh. Mm mm. Baby, I ain't got time for that. As prisoners who just got released. Yes. 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 Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. I met a guy that um just got out of jail one time. I was coming from San. I was leaving Oceanside, going back to San Diego, and I was sitting there. And he got on and he looked and he sat right on the side of me. So, well, on this side, so I could he could see me and I could see him. And I was just minding my business. And I think that's when the phones had just came out or something, where you could do little stuff on it or text or something. And he just started talking to me, and I was just talking to him, and I was just like trying to, you know, curve the ball. Shit. That man was not budging. He was cute, though, but I was scared because he didn't look like the gay guys in the club. He was stocky and shit, short, light skin, curly hair, real cute. Uh uh. He said he had he. He messed around a couple of times and all this. I was like, oh, okay. Like, well, I'm, you know, honey, I'm, I'm young as hell. I'm, I think I just got out of my first relationship. Baby, I can't, I can't, uh uh-uh. uh. He did want some brown sugar. He wants some hot sugar, sugar. He wasn't gonna get none of this hot sugar, sugar, honey. My nerves are too bad. He came over, hung out and stuff. And for me and my best friends, it was like, mm-mm. They were like, you better do it, bitch. My nerves is bad. It'll be my luck. Bitch try to do something, and all of a sudden, bitch getting beat up in the back of the head. I ain't got time for that. Like, he was cool, though, but... I passed Jim. You know, shit, it's all right. Thank you, Jill. I like bright colors in all colors. I think I can rock them all. At least I try to. But what I am about to rock is this goddamn wig off my head. I am going to rock that because I'm sick of this wig. I'm sick of this makeup. I'm sick of all this shit at this point, Jill. So I got on here so y'all could get your Jill. And you know, because I'm never in this shit like this. So I want to get on here and chit-chat with y'all for a moment. I think I did that. But soap and water is calling thy name. Um, thank you again for all of you who have purchased um, the mask. They have been, y'all have turned the party. I appreciate y'all. And I need to go pick up another set. Well, another load. I said load because it's not a set. And then try to see if I could go pick up some more, find some more, and then drop that load off. But um, I love y'all. With what? You like me in or out of your? Thank you, babe. But I, you know, I don't be in it all the time. But um, since I was in it, I might as well get on here and chit chat with y'all. How can I not let y'all get y'all jail? What's for dinner? Um, you know what? I was thinking about doing some um. I'm I'm still trying to decide on what gravy do I want. I was gonna make some gravy. I was gonna make some gravy from scratch, or I was gonna take some cream of chicken, chop up some bell, or some peppers, bell peppers, the red, yellow, and all them peppers, and 
not too much um, cream and chicken, but saute that real good, and then um, use that as a, a like a a gravy for some chicken breast or some uh, Brussels sprouts or something. I ain't gonna eat no Brussels sprouts because I don't even think it's a grill. But I, something green with some mashed potatoes, of course, just in case. Something. Because what I was thinking about doing was making the small uh, pot pies and then making uh, mashed potatoes and gravy. And then you you do it two different ways. You put the pot pie right here. You put the mashed potatoes. And then you do the gravy. But sometimes I like to put the mashed potatoes and I do like a, a get the round um, spoon. The one that you dip in, you know, with the, like you could... Pour, you push a smash around little hole in that. You put your little miniature pot pie in the middle of that, and you take the gravy and you pour it in the center of the pot pie, and you let that gravy just spread and just fall on the sides, and then you chew. And then if you go to bed. <laughs> For me, it's not nice. You go, you go to sleep. You're supposed to. So. I was th I'm thinking about that wine red. Yeah, so that's it. But I'm going to get out this shit, y'all, and get out this shit because I'm tired. And this shit's wearing me out now. But I love y'all. Be safe. And um, I'll come back on here a little later, I think, if I, you know, I got some shit to do. Shit is going crazy right now. I got to do a lot of stuff. Uh, I know I'm not um, on YouTube. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I can save it and post it. Bam. Look how I roll. All right. Bye, y'all.